Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show how to recover deleted files and how to image a logical section of a drive. But before we begin, if I may ask, do you think when you delete a file from your computer, the system entirely destroys it? I'm sure you won't agree with that statement because it doesn't. First, the process is when you delete a file, the system sends it to the recycle bin, as you're all aware of. In case if the file is accidentally deleted, it can be recovered from there. But when you clear the recycle bin and thinking you have successfully deleted the file, you are wrong. Let me give you an example. Uh, you decided to change the carpet of your home and uh, when you rip it out, there are bits and pieces would still remain on the floor. It is just like that. When you save a file, the system creates a space in the hard drive. Although you delete the file, the allocated space is still available with pieces of data that was deleted. Um, the forensic tools such as NCASE, FTK Imager, Autopsy, um, Helix and many more forensic tools can identify not only the files that are in the drive but also identifies the space where the data was previously existed and collects the remaining data. But once the deleted file space is overwritten by Windows with another file, then the deleted data cannot be recovered, such as um, when you put a new carpet covering the space where the previous carpet existed. Um, I hope that makes sense. Now, let's crack on with the video. Now let's open up the image uh, we've been working previously and there you go. Oh, um, straight away that all that folders that has a cross marks, which means they are deleted folders. Um, just like I mentioned before, um, FTK Image identifies um, the space where the file was deleted and when you do a physical image it entirely including that space whatever is on the hard drive it recovers everything so let's have a look see if there is any files on this one there's nothing there oh okay there are some files here in biographic um, so uh, some of the files got no data and one document is um, .doc, which can be opened by Microsoft Word. So you found the file, you can view it again in the text format because it's a document file and there are data. So you found the document, now how would you recover it? It's simple, just right click it, export files. I'm gonna save it to the desktop just to show you. Okay, okay, one file exported successfully. Great, let's go have a look. Let me move my recorder there, that's fine. Go. And voila. The document recovered successfully. Now, there is a little bit of um, another complication which I would like to explain. Okay, so it, let's just say, okay, I've found this folder. I wanna um, download everything from this folder. So simply I could just go there and then right click it and uh, just say export files again to get the whole folder. Okay, it does say six file exported successfully. But does it though? Let me show you. The folder has been downloaded successfully, but as you could see, it only did four files and the one it says um, the word document if you open it it doesn't have any data as you could see there are no data well you may as well say like what if the file are hidden okay let's try that out um, sorry my bad let's check the hidden files there is one but it's not the document what we wanted so um, let's just keep that as it is. There is just sometimes a flaw could happen when you um, export a folder. It may not um, contain um, the relevant document that you need. 
but what you could do is like I said if the folder is not too big when you identify your file it is important that you just export that file which could save time and also just to make sure you export the hash list as well in the same folder to verify um, just say file name data say save and it usually saves in the Excel format when you double click it there you go here you could see your MD5 hash and your SHA1 and the file name which is matches the file name and the pattern directories like where the file was recovered from okay don't have to save it let's go back now uh, let's say you found a folder and um, just um, it has lots and lots of deleted files images for example when I click this one it has quite a few and I want to recover everything from this rather than clicking one by one folder or images what you could do is right click it and then export logical image what it does is doesn't only get all the um, content of this folder it creates an image a logical image of this folder um, as I mentioned in the previous videos the difference between the physical and logical image is a physical image collects all bits of data on the storage medium regardless of whether it is allocated or unallocated to the file system so basically when you do a physical image it gathers everything um, a logical image collects only the data that is visible to the file system such as this folder so when you just do this folder it is a logical image so um, just make sure you add a case um, not one evidence number 23 uh, unique description just say testing examiner Raj notes um, FTK okay just go on next destination folder I'm gonna create it just on the desktop just to make sure um, it is easy file name I'm gonna give uh, 23 um, and then uh, finish Make sure you click verify images after they are created. Start. It is a simple, I mean, it's a small uh, folder, so it won't take much time. Again, the computer hash, the report hash, they um, both match the MD5. Again, SHA1, it both matches. So let's close that, close it. And there you go, if you go file, and if you just remove all evidence, let's get rid of this and add the evidence item it's an image file because we created a logical image not physical this time next browse on the desktop uh, yep that's the one how do i know that because that's um looks empty where that one got lines which is the report of the hashes so let's open it finish and there you go everything is here so you could simply work on this or you could just simply um, um, take this folder rather than uh, taking the entire image and uh, still anything that was deleted it still shows as deleted so there you go that's how you uh, do a logical file um, imaging and I hope this video helped and um, Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll see you on the next one.